Turning to this now, increasing concerns about rising gun violence across Mecklenburg County has leaders and health experts discussing the long term impacts on the community. WCNC Charlotte's Colin Mayfield has reaction on the work Atrium Health is doing and how community leaders see efforts on the growing issue. Community conversations happening on Wednesday night here in Charlotte about the surge in gun violence both nationally and right here in our city. Community leaders on one end and health leaders on the other talking about collaborative approaches that residents in Charlotte can take. I'm trying to support people in access to food and housing and everything else that is the breeding ground for a lot of these traumatic events. Health and Human Services Secretary Cody Kinsley, one of many leaders that unveiled a first look at the impacts of gun violence on doctors and nurses. Large proportions of people showing up in the emergency department with trauma are related to firearm violence. Atrium Health found that hospitalizations of gunshot victims in North Carolina are above the national average and they've continued to rise over the last five years. To combat what they're seeing in the ER, the health provider started a violence prevention program with the city of Charlotte that matches patients with critical resources where violence can stem from. They're doing an intervention at that moment, right? The opportunity for someone to work with them and say, how did we end up here? Mecklenburg County decided that uh, violence prevention would be a public health crisis. And so we're addressing this in a number of different ways. Atrium Health's research showed people who were treated for gunshot wounds readmitted 25% of the time for some type of violence related injury within 21 to 31 months. It's both a strain on health systems and costly as the U.S. Government Accountability Office estimates that initial costs for patients with gun injuries total $1 billion a year. The impact that that has on a household, on a family, on a community, um, is real. Hours later, that conversation continued at another discussion with people like Councilor Susan Billmeyer, who've seen the impacts over decades. For some of our youth, they're numbed by all of the gun violence um, because of um, the overwhelming amount of gun violence that um, our country sees um, and hears about on a daily basis. It's an issue that doesn't stay just inside hospital walls or at a crime scene, but the hope is that more low-cost intervention methods can take hold in hospitals, in churches, and community centers across Charlotte to address the issues that are a starting point for gun violence. Hospital-based violence interruption programs, community-based community, community -based programs that help channel anger into mediation, try to make things more productive.